for work i will use phone for work i will hi for work i will use 4.4 millimeter crochet hook and a ball of wool yarn and today you will see how to crochet unusual stitch pattern let's crochet the pattern i will begin from the foundation chain make a chain of 18 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 and 18 the foundation chain is ready let's crochet the first row make a chain insert the hook into the second chain stitch away from the hook make single crochet then single crochet into the e chain stitch of the foundation chain and so on once i have done the first row this is the preparation row let's crochet the pattern for this make a chain of five one two three four five to bring up the yarn turn the work yarn over the hook insert the hook into the third chain stitch away from the hook make double crochet not finish yarn over the hook insert the hook into the next chain stitch pull up a loop pull through two loops and make the third double crochet and finish into the next chain stitch i have done three double crochet not finish i skip this stitch insert the hook into the next one insert the hook into the second insert the hook into the back loop pull up a loop pull through two loops pull through two loops pull through two loops and pull through two loops my pattern is ready my stitch is ready i continue working on my stitch pattern yarn over the hook three times insert the hook into the next back loop pull up a loop pull through two loops four times make a chain yarn over the hook insert the hook into the first pair of horizontal strands pull up a loop pull through two loops make the second double crochet knot finish into the next pair and make the next dub double crochet knot finish I skip the next stitch, insert the hook into the next back loop, pull up a loop, pull through two loops one, two, three, and four. Here what I have yarn over the hook three times, insert the hook into the next back loop, pull up a loop, pull through two loops four times. make a chain yarn over the hook insert the hook into the pair pull up a loop pull through two loops make the second double crochet not finish into the next pair the third one i remove my knot let's continue working on my stitch i do not finish all my stitches I skip the next stitch, insert the hook into the next back loop, pull up a loop, pull through two loops till you will get one loop on the hook. So keep working in this way till the end of this row. Then I will show you how to complete this row with me. Let's complete this round with me. Make double treble crochet stitch. make a chain then double crochet not finish three times in a row one two and three then i skip the next stitch insert the hook into the
into the bow's loop. Then pull through two loops one, two, three, and four. My row is ready. Here how it looks. I have done six stitches in a row. Let's crochet the next row. This is the second row of main pattern. Let's crochet the next row. Make a chain. I'm going to work with single crochet stitches into the back loop of the each stitch. My stitch consists of three stitches. Make single crochet into the each back loop. One, three, one, two, and so on. This is the first row of the main pattern. And three more row will be a row of single crochet stitches that I'm going to work with back loops only. Then keep working in this way till the end of this row. And so on. Let's complete this row with me. Once I have done the last stitch, I did the first one. I need to do two more according to my pattern. So makes so make next two into the chains. One and two. Please check yourself. In total, it should be eighteen single crochet stitches. I continue working on my pattern. Make a chain. Turn the work and make single crochet into the back loop of the stitch of the previous row. It is going to be single crochet as well. So you should work with all back loops except the last one. Let's make the last one. Insert the hook into the stitch, make single crochet. I'm not using the chain of the previous row. Make a chain for the next row, turn the work, make single crochet into the each back loop. This is the last row. So my pattern consists of three stitches and has four rows. Then I will show you how to repeat my pattern. Let's complete this row with me. This is the row 4. Insert the hook into the last stitch. Make single crochet. Make a chain of 5 to bring up the yarn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Turn the work. I have done 4 rows of the main pattern. Now I show you how to repeat my tall stitches. Insert the hook into the third chain stitch. Make double crochet not finish. And two more in a row two and three. Insert the hook into the one, two back loop, pull up a loop, pull through two loops one, two, three, and four. And double treble crochet stitch into the next back loop. One, two, three, and four. Make a chain. Make double crochet not finish. One, two, and three. Insert the hook into the second back loop. Pull up a loop, pull through two loops, one, two, three, four. The second stitch is ready. Let's repeat one more time. It is very easy to make. Make double treble crochet stitch into the second back loop. This is my own stitch pattern. Make a chain and double crochet not finish three times. One. Two and three. 
insert the hook into the second back loop, pull up a loop or through two loops four times. So keep working in this way till the end of this row. Pattern consists of four stitches, one, two, three, four, and pattern has three stitches. You should repeat your swatch or your project as many times as you need. Let's look from this side. Next time you will see the whole project, how it looks like. That's it. It is done. This is my own stitch pattern. It is consist of it consists of four rows and has three stitches. You don't need special skills, you just need to know basic stitches. You can use it to create scarf, snoot, blanket, ear warmer, or it could be a part of the hat. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me in social media and of course Kashi with me and learn more. See you next time and good luck and crocheting.